A team of engineers who just months ago graduated from McMaster University have won a major international design award. They beat out, in fact, more than a thousand other ideas to win the D James Dyson Award for Design Engineering, the international prize. And they did it with a device you're looking at there on screen. It's called the Scan, with a K. But you're going to see it for real here in studio and meet half of the award-winning team because we just don't have room for four, but we have room for two. And so it's my pleasure to say hello to Michael Tekla Hi. and to Rot Rotimi Fadia, who are the winners of the James Dyson Award. Hi, guys. Hi, hey, and you thank doing? you for coming in. Thank you for having Congratulations. us. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, listen, it's very clear, the James Dyson Award. The mandate is simple. It is very simply and clearly laid out. You must design something that solves a problem. Mm -hmm. And the problem that you identified is melanoma diagnosis. Tell me about honing in on that. Sure. Um, so we're a group of four electrical and, and biomedical engineering students from McMaster University. Right. Um, and this started off as our fourth year design project. Um, as part of our program, we came across a lot of physiology and biology courses where we first learned about melanoma and how it becomes very dangerous if, um, if it's, left if it's not detected. Detect yes. Left undetected, exactly. And it still claims so many lives every year. But at the same time, if detected early enough, it's just a simple removal. So that situation kind of seemed interesting to us. Okay. And then um, as we were brainstorming ideas for our project, uh, we came across research that shows that uh, melanoma can be detected by analyzing the temperature of, it, of, uh, of melanoma and the skin around it. Because when you cool, as I've been reading your yep. research, as you cool this down and then you warm it up, cancerous cells heat up more quickly. Exactly. So you can figure out that they may be cancerous by the rate at which they speed up. Exactly. Yep. So you said, hey, there's the problem, there's a way to come to solution, and then, Rotimi, you show me, there it is, there yeah, is, is the, the solution, scan. there um, is the scan, <laughs> right here. Yes. Tell me about how it works. Uh, so basically, what we wanted to do with the scan was- Show the camera just as well when you're talking about What we that. wanted to do with the scan was create a low-cost way for doctors to take advantage of this physiological phenomena. Okay. And um, basically be able to see the differences between different regions on the skin. Okay. And so the device leverages thermistors, which are low-cost temperature contacts. I mean, super low-cost, right? Low cost, yeah. And very easily available. Yes, exactly. Okay. And it leverages this in order to create a heat map of the skin. And through this, we can do analysis on that data in order to determine whether there are significant differences between the healthy skin and the lesion. And okay. that can aid a doctor in making a, a diagnosis. Okay, so why is that device better than what's out there now? Um, so currently, uh, what's out there right now is a, a lot too expensive to, for a family doctor to afford to have in their clinic. Okay. So that was kind of our goal, was to take this research that we found and be able to apply it in a low cost uh, or, or uh, an affordable um, tool for doctors and family physicians to use. Who could get that diagnosis for their patients yeah. much more quickly. Obviously, Mr. Dyson liked it because he was one of the people and, of course, the main person to choose. We have some images of you being uh, feted over there, over yeah. in the UK, <laughs> by none other than James yeah. Dyson, the guru <laughs> yeah. himself. What was that like? Tell me about the moment. Oh, man, that was amazing. Um, I remember when we first saw him, the first thought in my head was, he looks exactly like his pictures. Really? And yeah, and it's, it's kind of eerie because like you see you see somebody on TV and you see him um, in, on on the internet and it's kind of surreal to be able to see him in person. Um, he was he was amazing. He made a lot of jokes. It was it was quite lovely. Not experience. just to see him, but to have someone though of his stature. I mean, the vacuum, uh, what the heaters, the yeah. self-driving cars he's working on now. Yeah. I mean, yeah. say that this is something that could make a difference. And to award you with fifty thousand dollars, which you're going to put back into this. Tell yeah. me what you're going to do with this, Mike. Um, so. Our first steps would uh, be to develop, uh, to go through our design iterations and develop more prototypes. Make sure that it's as efficient as possible and as easy to use as possible. Because this is really just the first prototype, isn't exactly. it? And this wouldn't. This is one of our early prototypes. This w okay, exactly. it wouldn't really. No, we wouldn't. It trust wouldn't it. yet. Okay, but the science is there with the better components exactly. can actually show how it would work. Exactly. Okay, so fifty thousand dollars goes into that. Yep. And when do you think it might get into doctors' offices? So our initial goal is, um, is, is to have some preclinical testing within the next eight months. Mm -hmm. um, and then from there, we would go through further design prototypes in order to reach a stage where we could do for further clinical testing. And then from there, we have FDA approvals and Health Canada approvals. So those, oh those, gosh, are, those, yeah, <laughs> the, the year, those can vary a little bit in terms of time, but um, we're, we're, moving, we're trying to move as quickly as we can and to, get, to get this I out I want a there. big boost with that $50,000 and sure. the international recognition. Um, 
Mac must be so proud of you there at the engineering school, but I'm also thinking of the larger reason. You talked about how it kills a lot of people. It kills 1,250 Canadians. That's just Canadians mm -hmm. every single year. So talk about the larger picture of maybe mm -hmm. helping save lives, not yep. just in Canada, but around the world. You're working on something that could make a meaningful difference in, in people's health outcomes. Well, how does that feel? Yeah, for sure. So like you said, it's, it's, it's a killer in Canada, in North America, and some parts, in, in uh, North America in general, in Australia. Um, so we, what we hope to do is promote early detection with this, because that's the real cure here. Mm -hmm. um, so if it's something that's easily approved by doctors, it could be something that we, hopefully the general public can be able to use, and that, that will promote early detection. Well, fascinating and fabulous. Thank you very much. I have to let you go, but why did you put scan with a K? I have to, I just realized it was thinking that. <laughs> because it's that. like a skin scan. Uh, ah, yeah. see, this is perfect. Thank now you. See, you ask a question, you get a great answer, and now I understand even better. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Really Thank you so much. Really appreciate having us. you both in. Pleasure. Congratulate the rest of your team on our behalf Thank as well. Thank you.